Now if this looks like a pretty heavy weight it is. It weighs about a pound and this is actually a pretty common jig that's used for bottom fish and this includes the rock cod, ling cod and halibut. Now if you look here there's a pretty big treble hook that's rigged inside and then an imitation squid and the way this is designed to be fished isn't with the hook on the bottom like this because you catch the bottom a lot. You can see that there's a swivel right there so you actually tie the line to the swivel and the treble is free swinging so the whole idea is to drop this down to the bottom the reason it's one pound when you're fishing in water that's two to three or even more hundred feet deep it's important to get your line as vertical as possible and to contact the bottom because that's why they call them bottom fish they're down pretty deep so you literally touch the bottom and try to keep this weight within let's say five feet of the bottom and even closer bumping the bottom and when one of the target species, like the rockfish or lingcod or halibut, comes by, he'll nail the actual squid. And it's also very common to put a chunk of fish on here, either a herring, a piece of mackerel, and so on. So this works really well. Now the jig that I also had success on today is a jig that's very popular, especially in warm oceans, for fish that swim very fast, like the mackerel, tuna family, jack family, and so on. And it's called a Williamson spoon, and this is it here. It's actually a vertical jigging spoon. You can see it's very thin. It's almost like a knife edge on one side, thicker on the other side, and it's very flat. It doesn't have a curvature. So this is designed to do one thing and drop really fast to the bottom. Sometimes it drops straight, sometimes it flutters like this on the way down, and sometimes it planes from side to side. Now you'll notice that the hook system is kind of unique on this particular spoon. You can see here that this is very heavy braid, and then there's two single hooks. And again, this jig as well is designed so that the hooks are up so that they don't get caught on the bottom. And you can see from all the paint coming off that this has been pounding the bottom. So sometimes when you're fishing for warm water species that are very aggressive, they'll hit this on the way up. So anglers use a technique called speed jigging where you're dropping the lure down and reeling it up as fast as you can. But here in British Columbia, you're jigging it up and down and the fish usually hits jigs like this on the way down. You know, this is kind of nice. You don't want it to be too hot, Jeff. So this mist is beautiful. Yeah. For those of you that haven't come to BC, I mean, you can fish anywhere in the sunshine, you know? But if you really want to have an experience and fish in a nice drizzle, BC's the place to come. I'm actually, I'm kidding, because we've had three wonderful days of uh, beautiful sunshine. And now we've got a little bit of overcast skies and nice flat water, which is good. Yeah. So you can see it's just like oil, nice and slick. And we've been having such a nice time at Sun's Lodge. Barb, hasn't the service been wonderful? Wonderful service. And I love the alpaca. Yes. That's one of the first things, you know, when you come off the dock every day and you go up to the lodge, you see these alpacas and because they've been shaved for their fiber, it's not really wool, I'm not sure what um, the fiber's like, but I know it's very valuable and they make beautiful clothing and other things out of it. You see them, and they're so cute because they have these little haircuts on top. You can see I'm doing a couple of things here. I'm holding the rod up. I'm trying to be nice and consistent with that rod bend. And I also have the line going He's under my finger. Right That's almost so that I can put additional drag on it. He could get off. I'm trying to steer him away from the yep, boat. There he goes. He's gone. There's yeah, an advantage to using ready. the long rods. Absolutely. Now notice I took my finger off the line. Do you ever do that? Do you put yeah. your finger on the line to just it, yeah. to get a little bit yeah. more control? Yep. He's sounding. Well, when you use the center pin, that's all your control is your yeah. fingers. Finger and palming it, which yeah. adds, adds a little bit of uh, break, but I haven't had to do that because this fish isn't that big. Got to keep that rod yeah, nice and high. There. Get his head toward me now. Yep. Got him. Hey. All right. You done it. Yes. Now, the other thing that we're doing, I got to tell you, that we're testing this net out here because this is the lucky strike. It's called a live release basket. Yeah. And I was telling Jeff that the way the net is, because it's flat on the bottom, even though it's big, round, and wide, the fish doesn't flop around too yeah. much. So I'm, I'm purposely talking, keeping the fish in the water so you can get a little bit of energy. You watch when you lift them up. I think it's a great live release tool. I'm going to put yeah. the rod up here. All right, Jeff, let's get him in the yeah. boat. Get him nice in there. fish. Barbara, oh, wow. uh, that's a Fresh dandy there. to take oh, home. Yeah. You know, on. back home, back home, this isn't such a bad 
a bad salmon. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my handy dandy glove. Have you ever yeah. seen this glove in action? Yeah, I have. I know you watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really for filleting, you know, yeah. I know you, you clean a lot of fish, you probably don't need a glove. We used here. to use those and we kind of, kind of, but we got away from them, but they're very handy. When I'm shore fishing, like steelheading or salmon fishing, yeah. they're great for landing fish because yeah. you don't got to carry a net around. Now, he's probably going to thrash, okay, so let's see what happens here. Caudal peduncle, I like the lice that he's got on him because he's in the ocean. Hey, yeah. he dropped the oh, hook. Oh, came out. There's a nice Chinook right here from Sun's Lodge Park. Isn't Beautiful. he pretty? Yeah. Nice silver fish, perfect eating size. Now, what's the size limit here in uh, BC? 62 centimeters, so you're looking at about a seven pound fish minimum. Okay. And this so. fish is what, about maybe eight, nine, 10? No, that's more than that. That's it's a, a it's 15 hefty. pounder. It's solid. It's what a, a beautiful yeah. salmon, yeah. look at that. Nice colors. Right here from Sun's. If you love to fish, you like to see beautiful scenery, great food. Wonderful experience guides, top notch. They go to Guide University for many years yeah. before they guide. Yeah. It's right here at Sun's Lodge. Look at this. Okay, let's get them in the box. Well done. All right. Canadian Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear, crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Dickies, guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike. More fish bite with a lucky strike.